So I decided to revisit the level program that I made the other day. Uh, if you saw the original video, you'll remember that the program that I had would read the raw values from the accelerometer and display them on a screen. Um, beyond that text, it had no other visual elements to it. So this time I've gone back and I've added uh, some of the... Uh, I've, I'm displaying the data visually in a manner that you'd uh, expect a level to be displayed. So before I began, I went ahead and I sketched out what I wanted the program to look like with a horizontal uh, level, then a vertical, and then a bubble or a circular one within the program. Um, when I originally did my draft, you can see I was also displaying some numbers uh, below the circular level, but I ultimately decided to leave those out because I didn't think that they'd have much meaning to anyone. Um, so over here, we have my computer running. Uh, you, you won't be able to read this clearly, but uh, this is the XNA Game Studio Device Center where I can register or unregister devices with my computer. So right now I have the Xbox 360 registered at the top and then I also have a Zune 30, a Zune 4, and of course my Zune HD registered. And a Zune HD is the one that shows with a check mark. Uh, when I did the graphics for the program, I made use of expression design. This is something that's easy to use. Um, for making uh, nice graphics um, with minimal effort. And then of course Visual Studio is the main development tool that I used. Uh, so I'll go ahead and tell Visual Studio to compile and deploy this program. Okay, so it's deploying right now. Okay, now it's starting. And also I have this running within a debugger, so it's going to load up slower than it normally would if it were running on its own. So here you can see the level, and from looking at it, you can tell that this uh, pad that I have it laying on is not uh, perfectly level. But as I move this around, you can see the bubbles moving on it. Now I decided to go with the red bubbles instead of going with the ones that are normally clear because I just thought the red stood out uh, better on a green background and you know there's not really a rule that says that you absolutely have to use the same colors as everyone else. And you might also notice that within a circular level, uh, let me see if I can clear this up. Okay I think this should display a little bit more clear but you notice that on a circular level there's also a little dot on it that moves around as I tilt this. And so this was an easy program to write. I wrote it using uh, XNA Game Studio. Um, and so I'll go ahead and I'll make the source code available online. After I clean up the source code, I'm going to go ahead and post this to Code Project. So if you're interested, you can download it from there. All the tools that you need for developing for the Zune are available um, for free. So even if you don't have Visual Studio, you can use Visual Studio Express, which costs nothing. And you'll be able to download and run this program along with any other example programs that people have made available online.